hello hello welcome back we have a little bit of fun we're going to use a range of things i am not using the stamps to this set this is lots of love with lots of little leaves and prettiness i'm going to die cut all these babies out i'm going to do that off camera so you're not going to see it i already have a little bit of double-sided tape stuck to the back of that so that's going to make it super easy this little panel I had to measure it it is eight centimeters by 11 centimeters it's just sort of a scrap, scrap piece of cardstock honestly i'm just gonna tell you straight this is the circle window stencil and we're going to use it to provide a little bit of interest in the background we're going to have like a lemon part of a circle let's just say that the next one is going to be sort of lemon going down into green and then the last one spoiler we've got three is just going to be the grass so yeah a little bit of a flow i thought it'd be nice and fun so as we quickly finish off and do that i'm just thinking what can i tell you what can i tell you lots of things have been happening let's be straight some fun some annoying like you know people getting access to your credit cards and putting two dollars and nine cents on your credit card then you have to go and cancel the credit card and jump through hoops and yeah you sort of like why why like i know why but it's annoying is it not tell me it's not annoying this is the you are my everything stamp i just thought this was a nice big stamp set like a big nice big sentiment so i'm going to stamp him a couple of times because the you and the everything are very bold so sometimes it needs a little bit of extra help this is just clear embossing powder this is pretty much what I do. I really should do something with my other embossing powders, but this is what I do with my embossing powder now. Any pigment ink that I have, I just put clear embossing powder. I don't, I have black, because there might be some time that I want to use it, but honestly, black annoys me am i the only person black annoys me because it still goes everywhere worse than white i think so this is what i do a lot of inks you can do that you can use clear embossing powder over it the dye base inks you can do it but they dry super super quick so don't think you're going to get a nice crisp image out of it i have done it it's just not as good as pigment inks i've even done it with stays on would you believe again you have to be very 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 fast so stick with pigment inks and you won't go wrong this as i mentioned earlier i've already i've don't cut these out of cardstock that had sticky on the back of it trim that off you can tell this is a scrap i've probably cut a tag of of cardstock so i can just go through my the tab and pick out a color but honestly i don't use it i don't know why i'm doing these, these things but there you go i have a little bit of foam mount him up again a relatively simple not a christmas card i thought let's just not do christmas for my last card of the month raise him up with a bit of foam the next thing i'm going to be doing is with my little sequence now you can see the sort of the blue there or the bluey green it was the wrong color but i didn't have any other option i've been trying to my last video with paper rose i was talking about using like two different colors like a clear with a blue or a blue green or something like that I tried it I couldn't my head couldn't get it wrapped around it I, I don't know whether I'm a little bit I'm not OCD but maybe I am a little bit 
OCD, but you know, it's all good. We want to make them pretty, don't we? This is the liquid sparkle. Now I am loving this stuff at the moment. I've just squirted a little drop into my little dish, as you can see here, and we're painting it on. And it is very glorious. You can see there, it's just beautiful. It just comes up a little bit. It's more crystal sparkly than Winkastella. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you're well. Take care.